Now let's talk about the switch statements in C programming. Okay, so switch are definitely used in decision making as uh, we have already seen the if else condition. So let me tell you one thing. Say, uh, if else ladder is uh, actually equivalent to switch statements in C language, okay? Right, now in uh, order to explain this, let's uh, take an example, right? So let me take an example, uh, let's say integer a, b, c equals to, let's say 3, right? And uh, let's take a switch now. Switch, oh, sorry about that. Switch, and the structure of switch is simple, like this, okay? And you need to place various cases, case 1, right? And put a call in here. And after that, you need to break that statement, break that case, and start with the next case, right? Case number 2, colon, break. Okay, right. Now, last case, you go on writing cases, and the last case goes to default case. So, you need to write default, right? Let's uh, print a statement, okay? Print, let's say, 33, and close it, okay? And also, you need to break that statement, right? So, this is a structure of a switch that here, up till here. Okay, so what does this program do is ABC is assigned with 3, switch to 3. Okay, so case number 3 would be executed. See, case number 1 is not matched, case number 2 is not matched. So only case it could match is default case. So here it will print 33 and come out of the switch. Right, what if the case is 3 like this? Okay, and let's uh, do a simple quick example. Let's say my friend is Tommy, right? And I close it, okay? So, what uh, is the output of this program? Let's compile and run, okay? My friend is Tommy. So, from here, it will start from the any case. Let's uh, do this example. Uh, let's say I write case 2 as print f say um, airport right airport terminal is open right and I close it right and let's check the answer since uh, the case is matching with 3, so it will print my friend is Tommy. What if I don't write this break statement? I remove that break statement. Now let's execute this. My friend is Tommy. Airport terminal is open. Why this uh, next sentence is printed is because we have removed the break statement. That's why. So when it matches with the case number 3, it goes on uh, execution executing the statements until and unless the break statement is is achieved right so here the break statement achieved so up till here it will go on executing okay and if i remove this break it will also print 33 okay so let's check right 33 is also printed here right and let's check whether if uh, it could handle the character or not. Let's say character uh, B, C, D, right? B, C, D, let's say character is uh, Z, right? And can it handle the character B, C, D, right? Okay, let's check. Okay, it's still uh, going to accept it. So it has accepted the integer value Okay, character value. Let's we have uh, implemented a switch, and switch is assigned 
with a boolean expression or you can say but it is a print statement right so print statement I told you it returns an integer value of what it uh, returns the number of characters printed so it will print red and then it will assign 3 because number of characters printed in the console is 3 right so switch of 3 will be will be uh, starting the case number 3 or you can say this 3 will arise the case number 3 and print rose looks beautiful right and see what does this print I'm reverting back and let's see okay red rose looks beautiful right so here is the thing so you need to just place a boolean expression here so that it can go to a case it should not be a uh, float value right in the case it should not be a float value otherwise it will not be accepted let's do this last example see we have used a uh, macro expansion here so macro is mmm it says that before uh, the actual compilation you need to replace the M with the printf statement and then it then the uh, switch of this printf statement will execute and then according to the number of cases it will execute the appropriate case and then print a statement right so let's execute this program and see that right the same answer okay so you can do any experiment with the C programming it is very important and it is very interesting right so, thank you for watching.